Hey guys, what's up? So I just wanted to talk about something where I feel like men feel like more women are attractive when they are more selective, when they have more self-respect for themselves, where they haven't been around the block, where they haven't given themselves in, given themselves so easily or given in so easily or don't say yes all the time and aren't people pleasers. Like men feel like these people are, these women are more attractive. Like these women are the women that, you know, they choose to live their lives a certain type of way where I would never date somebody or be with somebody that would not respect the way that I've chose to live my life because I saved myself to live experiences in a certain type of way, not in a grimy way, not in like a, you know, sexual, sexual way. Like I choose to live certain experiences out of self-respect for myself and it can be hard because there could be people that I'm in love with and if they don't treat me correctly I can't stay like I can't stick around them if there's people that are my friends that are disrespectful I'm not going to be their friends anymore like it's been hard I've had to cut off family friends uh lovers like not lovers as in like promiscuously but like people that I've been in love with that like I had to get rid of like they weren't good for me like they were toxic and like it just wasn't that kind of environment and people that I wanted around me they say that the five people that you have around you the most are the ones that most effectively are the most that most effectively create the person that you are so if I'm gonna have toxic men around me or toxic women or promiscuous it's gonna affect me in some certain way it's gonna affect my values and my beliefs and everything like that. So if I'm going to be with a man that doesn't respect and value me for the fact of how I chose to live my life and appreciate that about me, then I am not going to be very susceptible to wanting to even have anything to do with them because I'm a very self-preserved self woman. I'm independent and even though I'm independent and I can pay my bills and I can pay for my own food and I can like if I'm going out to eat, I can pay for myself. If I'm going to the movies, I can pay for myself. I don't need anybody to pay for me, but I'm going to have a classy man that was back in the day and I'm going to let him like, you know, buy me a, a, a meal like once in a while. I don't want them to always like pay for everything. But like back in the day, that's what happened. The men were always paying for women to go out and do this and that. Nowadays is different, you know. And I would never expect a man to pay everything for me because I wouldn't even be able to do that regardless because I'm so used to doing everything on my own that I don't even know exactly what it's like to have anybody do anything like that for me. Even like putting together an entertainment center. I've told men this before. I've been like, you know, I would not be used to having a boyfriend or something like that that wanted to help me fix things or the TV or you know, things that I already know how to do that I don't need help with and, like, men like to do for their women, like, is gonna be hard for me to have to do. But women are supposed to be in the receptive mode because we're the gentle ones, we're the nurturing ones, and the men are the providers, and they're the action goers and the go-getters, and that's just the energies. But you have to have both energies within you. You can't be in imbalance and always be, like, expecting to be in receiving mode and then do nothing about it. You know what I mean? It's it's give or take. It's balancing. It's balancing out everything like that. But I really would uh, agree that promiscuous women and modern day feminists that are going to, you know, not like what I'm saying need, really needs to self-reflect because it's like, how could you not agree with me when I'm saying that women are more attractive when they self-respect themselves, when they say no more when they don't give in when they don't give away themselves to everybody around the block like how are you literally gonna fight with me about that I don't know I'm just saying I thought about it and I felt like doing a video on it so I did but <laughs> hope this helped in some way um I know that it could help in a numerous ways um if I wanted to stop being that this that a certain type of way to create more self-respect because I want a, a man that's going to appreciate the fact that I, how I chose to live my life because I wasn't always like this. I was very promiscuous myself, but I learned, you know what I mean? And I learned from being so promiscuous. So 
I was just going to say something, but I'm not going to. So you guys have a good day and I'll talk to you later. Bye.